the state I live in. So I go back. There was the room called Room Ambassador. I was spending all my time in that room, in a certain computer, taking notes and reading a lot of papers, which was a testimony coming from a lot and a lot and a lot of people. Thankfully, I also made videos. But there has been people with the urge of rape, creating actually a lot of excuses just out of the blue. Uh, it feels like just some trend of attack. And like if you go to the sea, you will lose. If you go near an ocean, you will lose. But that's not the point of talking actually. Uh, I've listed all my achievements in my resume and I have actually done a lot and I've just faced a pile of people that I literally asked them, do you want to fight? I literally said that, do you want to fight? But they didn't have time to say anything. They just had time to commit stupidities uh, commit some sort of rape. I can't like just say to people, where is my son or where is my daughter or something like that. Maybe they killed them and they covered it up. And then I have the neighbor sitting there having like some sort of a friendship tone toward me and some sort of racism and craziness. I have short case. I took a train on July 25th, 2017 and on July 26th, 2017. At that period of time, I had actually a lot and a lot and a lot of administrative and legal paperwork actually to forward. And I have not, I have met this type of racism and this type of craziness that people think that their actions to sending me back here is normal, that, that, that their action in Sweden against me has been okay, torturing me, life. And I have reported to people like for eight months or nine months or over a year, I've been reporting and reporting it and reporting it what was ongoing on Sweden, what I have done to these individuals, but they brought someone and their action, their crazy actions and their crazy behavior and the lies toward me specifically is normal to them. There is this police station, I go there, give me back my property. The guy sit there and it's like, don't talk, uh, they like, don't come back here, don't do this or don't do that. I can punch him in the face. I can drag him. I can slap him in front of everyone. And there is nobody in Africa who will do it, who will do a thing about it. But like, I try to remain peaceful because I know I'm dealing with the world's scum with extreme racist and with a lot more. I do understand that it's not their fault that they have seized all my belongings or the theft that I have committed. And I know the family is not my family because someone who has basically win prizes, world prizes in a lot of things, uh, had achieved have tremendous achievements as well as a lot more and I'm met with a certain type of I don't know why. What I listed in my resume is true. I did all of that. Maybe I'll turn it to that side so that they can showcase. It. There has been a lot of things ongoing in 2017. Probably electronic breach in Sweden. That has been resolved and I ended up actually doing a lot of achievements and I have actually people just blocking it because 
it gives them a feeling of arousal it is their job and it's completely normal I have a lot of salary entries but I'm faced actually with people who the police when they see these people commit this sort of actions they let them and when I commit achievements I just find obstacles I just find shittiness and things that are unbelievable to say because it's out of logic that I don't want to bother people I wrote actually like in March to this justice policy is that probably because the wife of the Austrian Chancellor has already met the current French president and his wife that probably it was someone from the Elysee Palace who have actually directed people to send something to me so that I can pick them up but then when I go to the police station I meet someone at the station that my words are extremely unbelievable to him or he is saying that purposefully which makes him actually commit state aggression and he's a terrorist wearing a police uniform because I have this face and the troubles with these with people like me actually be I'm born in 1991 this started probably like in 1997 or 1998 and has been in existence during all that period of time and they probably actually read some more actually some Guinness record stuff for it I have highlighted things but I was actually getting some sort of attacks some sort of aggressions and then it's like when you end up actually uh, in contact with a lot of armies with a lot of people who have planes fighter jets submarines uh, aircraft carriers boats tanks artillery artillery and which actually military from states European states or American states or North American states people are somehow much calmer when they speak with you <clears throat> they have actually some tone of accepting to do administrative and legal matters and they remain idiots who seize properties coming actually from respectful individuals because of the hellish situation that I lived in 2016 and 2017 later in 2018 with the hacking and electronic breaches and all of those other stuff I probably hate what has happened to one of my visitors the showcase of some sort of a revengeful behavior from my mother and crazy behavior from a lot of people that my personal achievement is not something to uh, is not something to showcase uh, it's a lot of strangeness then I meet youth because they didn't achieve this milestone this milestone they actually are allowed bear their support by their superior officers to give me a brain lesion and give me a lot of troubles <coughs> and I remember going to the courthouse in March 2018 to the Swiss Embassy back then to uh, in February 2018 also and in other places the thing is that they do not have any jurisdiction to interfere in the affairs plus there's a police station five minutes away from the Swedish embassy and nobody is getting me my graduation diploma I'm not a pedophile I'm not a rapist and uh, 
I was spending all my time in D building, B building, and it's, I'm not saying this actually out of the blue. I'm saying this because uh, to contradict someone who who has some mental illness, thinking they know something about human dignity, while they inflicted it on me. I'm talking about Germany in this place. It's like it's un unbelievable how such people I met in that area. It's like I went there, I stood there, I had a tough situation, and that was my only exit. And on their own, they they decided to uh, cheat on their friends, uh, commit treason on their allies. and assist enemies of their friends as well as some sort of sponsoring acts of revenge I had some time to travel but we find people actually who steal our money who steal a lot of our properties personally my money and my contracts and the book publishing and other things but what I have uh, achieved, yeah. I was extremely busy all that period of time, but then I found someone, uh, yes, who commits simply just atrocious acts. So I listed all the bullet points, I spoke my mind uh, clearly. But then uh, there's no man around here at the end of the day. And people get a feeling of arousal, a crazy feeling of arousal. I thought they need to actually enter a mental health institution to treat their sickness. Then I go to an office in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, inquiring and asking them to... Uh, to give uh, some sort of legal compensation to my family and to give me my rights and my property that has actually been stuck in Sweden to say it clearly <coughs> even if it's if it was uh, normal or fun I do not appreciate, uh, yeah, because I've been actually asked to speak this way because otherwise I have actually, yeah, a lot and a lot and a lot of institutions and people bothering me. I get money, I get compensation. I get legal compensation, I get investments to live elsewhere, and I get paperwork to live elsewhere. And people commit, uh, since the time in Sweden, commit unlawful criminal stains, taking of hostages, coercion, as well as a lot more. When I call all those institutions, they don't see this as completely normal. They just sit there and basically uh, allow themselves to get hurt. So <clears throat> I went to the Dutch embassy a lot. I went to the Swiss embassy a lot. I went to the Czech embassy, Czech embassy a lot. I went to the Swedish embassy a lot more. I went to the American Embassy, I went to the Canadian Embassy, I went to the Norwegian Embassy three times or four times. And I went all to those areas and I found actually individuals or people who have actually found time to assault females or males coming from that area of the world and people like Prior to the World Cup, 
2018 they didn't say much and all the earnings and all the money that I obtained which is actually large sums are actually stolen and I'm going to quote to the police well this is and this is and this is what has happened They did a thorough search. There was an answer on May 7th, 2019, an answer on May, on May 9th, 2019, and an answer on May 11th, 2019. After I spoken a lot and I did a lot of procedures to a lot of people. Then I get a clan of racist Nazi youth who know nothing about me who harm me and I'm a person involved in foreign policy energy geopolitics and environmental energy and I did a project which is multi-layer multi-energy system based on environment, environmental sustainability I protected it by law by copyright by habit I chose the origin I couldn't be more precise and I can say it's like it's extremely wrong that Mrs. Uh, that I still have not met uh, the CEO of Blumite's company or the managing director, which is Evelyn Steinberger Kern. These people have been acting this way toward me since. 